अच्छा व्हाट यू हैव स्टडीड इन नो लेवल्स ठीक है सो एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर बेसिक आईडिया यू हैव गॉट यू हैव गॉट प्रोटॉन्स न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट एंड ऑल दिस प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे हैव अ अ रिलेटिव मास ऑफ 1 द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज वेरी लाइट इट हैज अ रिलेटिव मास ऑफ 1 ओवर 1836 and then you've got uh, this one second abdullah before uh, i think we did moles hum dobara kar lenge we we we'll... as a one over 1836 and this one um the charge relative charge is proton is plus 1 theek hai neutron is uh, it has no charge and the electron has a charge of uh, minus 1 as a first thing uh upar likh dete hain ki what is this this is this is a uh, relative mass and that is relative charge as a first thing remember this that uh, the relative mass these values are rounded numbers theek hai this are rounded values theek hai they're not exact numbers one means that it's approximately one relative ka kya matlab hai relative means that uh, whatever the mass of a proton the mass of a neutron is going to be exactly the same remember it's not exactly the same ki agar i just uh, so i just uh, if i just google a uh, mass of a proton that's the mass of a proton right so a relative so, so that's the mass of a proton and if i google the mass of a neutron theek hai so you can see that it's as a this value if you can see it it's 1.67493 theek hai what about this one proton 1.67262 तो पहला तो ये याद रखना कि द मास ऑफ द प्रोटॉन इज नॉट एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू द मास ऑफ द आई मीन इट्स ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बट इट्स नॉट एग्जैक्टली द सेम ठीक है सो रिमेंबर रिमेंबर दिस दैट ये वन जो लिखा हुआ है दैट इज दिस वन ठीक है दिस वन इज अ रिलेटिव और राउंडेड नंबर इट्स नॉट तो अगर मैं इफ आई रिलेटिव मास ऑफ अ प्रोटॉन if i can find it uh chai the india wo waise jaldi se isko go through kar le ke to theek hai to abhi mil hi raha lekin do you get this point rafi ibad ibad do you get this point that this one and this one that's a that's a relative number which is a rounded value ठीक है So, so so the point is it's 1.00 something and relative to what relative, relative to 1/12 the mass everything is compared relative to carbon atom right so just remember this okay, it's not one it's one as a mass and always remember this mass is always uh as a unit mass uh can have infinite accuracy which means that it will always be something that is measured in decimals it depends on the accuracy of the device the if i say something is 20 kg that doesn't mean it's exactly 20 kg it might be 20.001 kg right uh and even if i say if it's 20.001 kg then it's not exactly 20.001 kg it depends on the accuracy of the device it might be 20.001 
or if a device or accurate or maybe there's some other decimals after that so remember measurement is always it has i mean you can go up till infinite accuracy there could be infinite decimals places after that theek okay? hai so it's always it's always measured in decimals and uh, it can have many decimals theek okay? hai so so only thing that has a has that can be a whole number uh, is uh, is something that is counted okay agar if i if i am counting apples so i'm going to have three apples or i'm going to have four apples i'm not going to have 3.01 apples right so when you're counting things they're always in whole numbers but when you're measuring things they they're always uh, it all depends on accuracy so just keep that in mind ya aage ja ke na we'll do something in that uh, will uh, uski significance pata lag jayegi why i'm talking about this theek hai but is the point clear this one yes sir sir yes yeah. Sir, uh, in the chapter of moles, there is also the topic related to mass spectrometer. So, is it removed from the syllabus? No, it is in the syllabus, but it's uh, we'll do that at the end, very end. Okay. But it's not. It's not like it's got nothing to do with moles, basically. I think it's a completely different topic. But it was syllabus. Syllabus are wrong, but it's a completely different topic. Plus, they've okay. they've actually recently added the A two stuff as well. So you've got uh, uh, now it's a it's a much bigger topic in AS. Previously, it was a very tidy topic. Now it's a much bigger topic. I said, sir, quickly, a charge. Uh, uh, just so that you know that charges are measured in coulombs, and it's one point six into ten to the minus nineteen coulombs. So one of them is plus one point six into ten to the minus nineteen coulombs. The other one is minus one point six into ten to the minus nineteen coulombs. Uh, the electron, I said, the electron on the other hand is the one that is uh, that is very light. It has a very uh, small mass. I said that's that's the first thing. Or Baki, Apko, Mekha, so you know all the stuff, uh, which is that where are protons and neutrons? They're in the nucleus, right? Do you? That's the basic structure of an atom. You've got. Uh, if got protons and neutrons residing in the nucleus which is why acha which is why they called nucleons and the electrons revolve around the nucleus they're attracted to the nucleus and they reside in shells Yeah, so these are your uh, your nucleons, uh, and uh, they're present in the nucleus. Which is which has a positive charge. So there's a positive center that's attracting electrons, right? As I so, first thing, the model of uh, the model of an atom. That's your previous model of an atom. Then you had lots of lo lots of different shells. Now we're going to move towards the new model of the atom, which is uh, which is we're going to talk about orbitals, we're going to talk about subshells, and we're going to talk about shells. ठीक है? ये तो clear है ना एक example मैं कर देता हूँ कि although this model is valid, ठीक है? But this this is not it's it's an overly simplified model. Uh, like if I have a sodium atom, ठीक है? Hopefully everyone knows. Uh, So hopefully everyone knows uh, that it's got eleven protons and eleven electrons, and it's got twelve neutrons, right? I said so. I said so that's that's your sodium atom, and uh, so there's going to be a nucleus of the sodium, which would so that one will have. Eleven protons and it's going to have twelve neutrons. Of electrons, how many will it be? It's going to be two, eight, one, right? It's going to be two in the first shell, eight in the second, and there's going to be a third shell which will have the last uh, electron. So this is how it's going to look. Two, here eight. And then there is one. Here, that's 
that's what you know of theek hai this is what you have studied in o levels ye to clear hai na kisi ko koi issue to nahi hai is this clear so in the first shell uh, the electrons are in the lone pair ye the electrons are uh in pairs or what like shouldn't they be separated wo bhi discuss karte hain they are actually in pairs वैसे theek hai uh they're not separate they're actually they're actually together theek hai we're going to talk about that in detail now the first shell ka theek hai isko set kar le so theek hai but this is all o level stuff uh and remember it's it's still valid but this is not what an atom actually looks like theek hai so we're going to start with the a level description now theek hai of the same thing ye jo samne hai na we got to we got to use this the a level one will be a lot more detailed one theek hai this one is overly simplified uh and it looks like a solar system the atom is not really like a solar system i mean i mean is there uh, the concept that you get is that there's a there's a nucleus in the middle and that the electrons that are that are revolving around it this is not how it's happening i said so the new model of the atom theek hai now we're going to discuss we're going to discuss the new model of the atom theek hai so we're going to discuss the first thing i said there are things which are known as orbitals theek hai acha now we're building the atom from scratch all the way from scratch so what are orbitals um uh, अच्छा which is positively charged and there's one electron that is buzzing around it or revolving around it it's negatively charged right that's the old one the new one is that you still have one proton in the nucleus right it's that's still there okay so you got i say you got one proton in the nucleus but this is how the electron is going to behave like okay so one way to accurately imagine what in what in uh, atom looks like is ye electron aapke samne theek hai so this electron is energetic right it's not stationary but it's not revolving like your solar system it's not the electron is more like acting like a fly this na wo mithai ke upar you've got these flies buzzing around right so the electron is kind of attracted to the positive nucleus but it's energetic and it's buzzing around like a fly around it theek okay? hai so so there are two the two ways to describe the electron no one has, remember no one has actually seen the electron what we have seen is i mean there's observation right there's i mean you don't actually literally see it. i mean it's impossible ek second then i'm going to call i just hold on a second I just saw you just a sec. Chalo, how are you? I'm just coming back to this. Uh, electron ki electron ki description. Uh, Adra board ka link. Let me just share the board link just a second. Uh, just one second.
I have shared the board link. I said, so this one. I said, it's not important. Nahi hai, there are two ways of, uh, there are two very ways. I said, remember first thing, no one has actually seen the electron, right? Because it's so tiny, you can't take a picture of an electron. It's impossible to take a picture of an electron. What you've actually seen is the negative charge. You've felt the negative charge. You know there's a negative charge. And you know that there is an exact specific amount of negative charge. Uh, so this is... I said, so since you've not seen it, you don't know how it looks like, you don't know how it moves because you've never actually seen it, right? So some people believe that the electron is like a fly. It's a particle and that particle is buzzing around and it's occupying a specific place around the nucleus. So, so, it's, uh, so there's a region around the nucleus where there's a very high probability of finding that electron. Like the electron is not over here. It's not over here. So, so what you do is, this is how you describe an electron. Okay, if somebody tells you, okay, draw an electron, you're not going to draw an electron. You're going to mark a space around the nucleus and you're going to state, okay, bhai, yaha pe na. so you're going to mark a space around the nucleus and you're going to state that this is the region in which there's a very high probability of finding the electron because you can't pinpoint exactly where the electron is. The negative charge, you can feel the negative charge. You, you can feel that there's something buzzing around here, which has got a negative charge, but uh, you don't know how it moves. You've never seen it. Okay, so what you do is you mark a space around the nucleus and you say, okay, iske andar na, inside this space, that's a high probability area where there's a very high probability of finding the electron. Is that clear? Yes, sir. yes. So, so remember this. From now on, no one is going to draw the electron because you don't know where exactly it is. It's model is issue You've drawn an electron. And you're saying that it's over here. Well, in fact, you don't know where it is exactly. I mean, you can you can. It's a mini awaz, na. Like if somebody is going to. Uh, Somebody is going to ask you, where is the location of my voice? So, uska reply jo hoga na, because no one can pinpoint where my voice is, right? But you can say that it's in this room. I have, a, I have a house and inside this house, inside this room, that's the region where there's a very high probability of actually experiencing my voice or hearing my voice. Haan, downstairs, there might be zero probability of actually hearing my voice theek hai? so some people describe the electron as a as a wave theek hai? like my voice is a wave right some people describe it as a particle that it's a it's a particle with, which has a negative charge and it's it's moving around theek hai? so there are two ways of describing the electron but both uh, both use the same concept which is orbitals that you use orbitals or is definition i'm going to write the definition so it's a region it's a high probability uh, it's a region around the nucleus where there's a higher probability of finding the electron. So there's a high probability of finding finding electron okay so so i'm not going to draw an electron now okay what i'm just going to do is i'm going to mark the region okay the electron is somewhere the negative charge is somewhere found in this particular area and that's going to be called my that's going to be called my orbital TK. So idea clear, 100% clear, Sarova? Sir, the electron is buzzing around randomly, then how does it know that it has to buzz in the limits of the orbital? Why doesn't it cross the orbital? Because it's attracted to it. It's like a fly. I mean, the, the, elect when the, is the electron draw can go a second. The electron, first thing, is energetic TK. I said, remember, no one has actually seen it. Uh, so the electron is 
energetic as if you if you imagine it as a fly because remember no one has actually seen it you only know the negative charge around it okay so the so imagine the fly getting attracted to the positive nucleus so there's a force of attraction and the electron is energetic so it's buzzing around and i say and this boundary is not it's not a hard boundary it's not it's not ke ye boundary wo cross nahi kar sakta it's just that it has a low probability of crossing that boundary i mean there would be chances that it might reach over here but mostly it will be in this space about you get the point yes sir ye yani ki 100% i mean this is what uh uh for example तो जब वो साइंटिस्ट होते हैं ना व्हेन दे एक्चुअली लुक एट अ हाइड्रोजन एटम अह एंड दे मेजर द नेगेटिव चार्ज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन ये वाला दिस वन सेकंड सो दे एक्चुअली द नेगेटिव चार्ज दैट दे एक्सपीरियंस इज समथिंग लाइक दिस तो जो फ्लाई वाली एनालॉजी है दैट्स जस्ट एन एनालॉजी बिकॉज़ यू नो वन हैज एक्चुअली सीन व्हाट एन इलेक्ट्रॉन लुक्स लाइक यू जस्ट नो ये हाइड्रोजन का एटम है ठीक है दैट्स द न्यूक्लियस है that's the nucleus and you can experience a negative charge that's around it so there's a negative charge that's uh, so you can think of the electron as like a jelly type some substance i mean you can imagine anything think of what an electron is all you know is that it has certain properties that it has a certain mass okay, if i if i remove the electron you jo bahar jo bhi cheez hai na if i remove that a certain mass would be lost it has a very specific mass and you also know that it has a very specific charge which is 1.6 times 10 power minus 19 coulombs so the boundary is uh, it's very ill defined it's so so if you want to imagine it, imagine it as a fly so and imagine it as a fly that's buzzing around very quickly that the negative charge is spread out evenly everywhere this how pankha ni move kar raha tha like if i if i tell you that there's a fan that's moving very quickly theek hai so fan uh, but the image aaj hai uh if you have a ceiling fan right so acha what do you see ah ye wala example sahi hai acha here's a fan that's on the ceiling and that's moving very quickly to mujhe batao what would you see you don't see the blades of the fan right so if somebody is going to ask you भाई वो एरिया बताओ रीजन बताओ वेयर कैन यू लोकेट द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द फैन सो योर आंसर विल बी दैट द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द फैन आर इवनली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस रीजन दे आर प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर इन दिस रीजन द फैन मूव कर रहा होता है लाइक इफ इट्स मूविंग वेरी क्विकली राइट सो देयर इज एन इक्वल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ द ब्लेड्स ऑफ द फैन बीइंग प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर इन दैट रीजन देयर इज नो सेफ स्पेस कहीं पे भी आप हाथ रखोगे ना द फैन the blades of the fan will hit you right so that means there's an equal probability of finding the blades of the fan everywhere in that region theek hai to ye idea clear hai ke ke agar koi aapse location puchega bhi blades of the fan kahan pe hai so you're going to mark this region ke bhi this circular region over here that's where you're going to end up finding the blades but and they're actually everywhere in that in that space is that idea clear yes sir अच्छा तो तो रिमेम्बर इलेक्ट्रॉन को जब इमेजिन करोगे ना तो यू नॉट गोइंग टू इमेजिन इट एज अ पार्टिकल यू गोइंग टू इमेजिन इट एज अ नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड यू गोइंग टू इमेजिन इट एज द इलेक्ट्रॉन और द फ्लाई दैट्स मूविंग सो क्विकली दैट द नेगेटिव चार्ज इज एवरीवेयर इन दैट स्पेस ऑल द टाइम ठीक है मतलब यहां से आप आ रहे हो तो यहां पे भी आपको यू आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ नेगेटिव चार्ज इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द अदर साइड यू आर स्टिल एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ नेगेटिव चार्ज राइट सो so that's the first thing theek okay? hai so electrons are going to be going to be uh, described by their orbitals uh it's the region where the negative charge would be found theek okay? hai is that clear yes sir or plus uh, make sure you have this image in mind uh, console wala ye wala ki the boundaries are not uh, perfectly defined theek okay? hai so the, this is another location the nucleus is in the center and the and the negative charge is spread out on both sides okay there's another this is called another orbital the nucleus is in the center and the negative charge is spread out in four lobes okay so you've got you've got all sorts of arrangements around the nucleus where the electron could be okay so let's talk about orbitals orbitals are going to have different shapes 
ठीक है सो द रीजन इन विच दर इज अ वेरी हाई प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन दे वुड बी मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्बिटल सो द फर्स्ट वन इज योर अच्छा सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब दिस सो द फर्स्ट वन इज वैसे ना इलेक्ट्रॉन के ऊपर ऑल द दिस इज ऑल याद रखो क्लियर है ना ऑर्बिटल्स क्लियर है परफेक्ट या या अच्छा नाउ जस्ट डाइग्रेसिंग इसके ऊपर देयर इज अ देयर इज अ कांसेप्ट वेव पार्टिकल डुअलिटी व्हिच इज दैट पीपल आर वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड लाइक व्हाट इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन ठीक है दे दे नो दैट देयर इज नेगेटिव चार्ज समवेयर अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस राइट बट दे आर वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट द नेचर ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन ठीक है सो रिमेंबर and this is not this has nothing to do with it yes i'm just describing this this for your knowledge uh in physics you've got two concepts one is waves and the other one is the other one is particles right so so you can define phenomena in two ways one is waves the other one is particles waves uh, they don't have a definite boundary like if if i say give okay, my my like my voice that's a wave right uh we know that it is actually a thing because you can hear it right it's a phenomena that you can hear it but it doesn't really have a specific boundary uh uski jo boundary region hai na that's very ill defined theek it's very hard to answer where my where my sound is where my wave is right uh so the but my wave uh has definite energy it's got energy in it theek hai which is transmitted through the through air अच्छा पार्टिकल्स जो होते हैं ना पार्टिकल्स हैव डेफिनेट बाउंड्री गॉट अ वेरी डिफाइंड बाउंड्री इन द सेंस दैट लाइक आई एम अ पार्टिकल लाइक आई गॉट आई मीन माय बाउंड्री इज वेरी वेल डिफाइंड सो यू गॉट वेव्स एंड यू गॉट पार्टिकल्स नाउ पार्टिकल्स कैन कोलाइड विद ईच अदर वेव्स डोंट कोलाइड विद ईच अदर like if two people are speaking in the same room their waves will not be bouncing off each other right i mean the waves can superimpose they can uh they don't collide with each other particles they collide with each other like if there are two people around both of them are made up made up of particles right they can't pass through each other but waves can pass through each other right or is tarah phir aur bhi cheeze like waves can like if if i if my room has two doors right my sound can exit both doors at the same time right because a wave can do that a wave can diffract a wave can uh, a wave can do all sorts of things right like so so if there are two doors in my in my room my sound wave can travel through both of them at the same time but i can't do that as a particle i can't do that uh, i can't exit both doors at the same time so idea clear hai you've got two phenomena theek hai ye clear hai ki wave and particle right so so the funny thing about electrons and especially quantum particles is that uh, their behavior is very odd sometimes they behave as waves sometimes uh, in some phenomena they behave as particles this ko wave particle duality kehte hain i mean it's very hard to actually imagine what they really are uh, macro world pe it's very easy to imagine or define that this is a wave and that's a particle right but at the at the quantum level it's pretty hard for example an electron if you put an electron and there's there's a room with two doors in it an electron can exit both doors at the same time the same one electron so that means it's behaving as a as a wave theek hai but sometimes uh, electrons they collide with each other they bounce off each other which means that they're behaving as particles so the problem this is known as a wave particle duality that some property they have some properties of waves and they've got some properties of particles theek hai so तो ये वैसी इसके ऊपर ना वैसी पढ़ लेना इट्स गॉट नथिंग टू विद योर एस सिलेबस जस्ट वांटेड टू टेल यू दैट देयर इज अ कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड वेव पार्टिकल ड्यूअलिटी दैट फ्रीक्वेंट फ्रीक्वेंटली गेट्स अप्लाइड टू दीस क्वांटम पार्टिकल्स ठीक है तो इलेक्ट्रॉन के पास ना दोनों प्रॉपर्टीज का मिक्स मिक्सचर होता है अच्छा मूविंग टू एस ऑर्बिटल्स द फर्स्ट वन द शेप ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल दिस वन इज स्फेरिकल it means that if an electron is in an s orbital it's in a spherical region around the nucleus to so the first electron that i drew that's a that's basically an s orbital so i've got a nucleus i've got a spherical region so the 
if the electron is somewhere in that spherical region that's uh, and its negative charge is spread around a spherical region that's in s orbital first one then the second one we've got a p orbital as i showed you a p orbital uh, a p orbital is i said this one is dumbbell shaped Uh, what that means is that if there's a nucleus and it has an electron around it, that particular electron would be occupying two regions around the nucleus. Uh, there'll be two lobes. And the negative charge of the electron will be spread out in both lobes, like this. TK, I, I showed you an image. Uh, this is a p orbital. This is what a p orbital looks like. The nucleus is in the center. The negative charge is concentrated over here, and it's concentrated over here. It's basically one electron. So you can think of a, of a fly that's buzzing around in both areas. Uh, there's there's hardly any negative charge on this side. There's hardly any negative charge on this side. TK, so that's this one is a p orbital as well. It's got two lobes. To you, that's a p orbital. And then there's another orbital where the, where the negative charge of the electron can be spread in four lobes. That's that's a d orbital. Okay, so we'll we'll talk about a d orbital. I so remember d orbitals ka jo kamana that usually comes in eight. Uh, but the knowledge of d orbitals uh, you've got to have it. Aja, so a d orbital has four lobes. So there's going to be a nucleus, and if there's one electron around the nucleus, so what will happen is that uh, one electron, its negative charge would be would be spread around four lobes around the nucleus. Okay, so that's uh, I guess that's how that's how a d orbital looks like. Okay. And uh, we've got an f orbital as well. Uh, it's got, uh, I'll just, it's come a little bit, it's got four lobes. And we've got a, we've got an f orbital, which is kind of very rare. It's very, it's very rare in atoms. Uh, hardly any atom has f orbitals. So the f orbital has eight lobes. Okay, so it's got it's got eight lobes. I can probably not draw it properly. I'll just uh, take an image. Ke, it's gonna take an F. Uh, so this is kind of an F orbital. It's a it's a two dimensional version, but As if something like this. Okay. This one in three dimensions, this one specifically. You don't have to remember these. D and F, you don't have to, like, you won't be asked to draw them. Here, that's kind of, that's kind of like an F orbital. He gets got, uh, the negative charge of the electron is spread over, over eight lobes. So, Bella, idea clear? Orbitals, is this clear? Yes, sir. So, okay, but so it's simple right now. The rest of the thing is wave particle duality. I have done it. All you have to know is that imagine how the electron is viewed by scientists. No one has actually seen it. All they know is that there's a negative charge that's around the atom. If it's if the negative charge around the at around the nucleus. Is spread over a spherical region. That's a that's an s orbital. If the negative charge of that single electron is it's uh, present over here and over here, that's a p orbital. Negative charge could be distributed in four lobes around the nucleus. That's a d orbital. It could be distributed in eight lobes. Uh, that is an f orbital. Uh, we'll be focusing more on the s and p orbital. Okay. So that's the first thing. Baki uh, next class uh, we Just remember shapes of orbitals. Uh, you'll be asked to draw them. Okay. So let's uh, 
कंटिन्यू फिर नेक्स्ट क्लास में कंटिन्यू करते हैं दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी न्यू एंड देर वुड बी लॉट्स ऑफ टाइनी स्मॉल कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस ठीक है चले ओके एवरीवन Yeah, love this. Love this.